So Laurie's playing her dad's tapes. <clears throat> her dad did 28 years of Bigfoot research and he had an affinity with the creatures and Jessica and Laurie have both heard it bump three times. Boom, boom, boom. This is audio for you. He's bumping stuff. I just got chills all over me from that one. Did you miss him? He sounded like a breath up to the end. Yeah. No. Yeah. You've heard it now. So glad. That's what he did when I walked up. He went like that twice. Went like that. Do you miss my dad? Yeah, I miss him too. Yeah, I know, he's not here anymore. But I'll play some more of his audio for you. Yeah, so here <coughs> is a squatch print. Why do I think it's a squatch print? Well, it's consistent with the measurement of a, a normal big footprint. If you just come in. Laurie, you can see it's about 17, 18 inches. When we walk, when it walks, you can see the heel here is more elevated. Where there's the clear indentation in the, in the in the big toe here, which is deeper. Yeah, we've just found this in in the snow, and you can clearly see it appears to be a print. There's the shape of the toe, the big toe, and there's the toe marks around, and there's a very clear heel definition here. Very. I'm used to tracking animals all over the world. I had no idea that the creature was there, but he was right over us as we slept, and we had not a clue, because you can see in the sequence, as Laurie has said, we go to the bathroom, blissfully ignorant, and it's only the next morning, after coffee and breakfast, when we looked at the image and we thought, what was that? And Laurie was so scared, I remember her looking at it through her fingers, she couldn't even look at it properly. Can you take a shot of that? Yeah. 